Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a really neat application and that allows you to create blank spaces on the home screen of your iPhone. For customization purposes, if you like to theme your device, this application will give you blank spaces to organize your home screen uh, very unique in a very unique way. So links, of course, will be in the description down below. I've spoken to the developer about the application. It is not currently available in the App Store. However, it is available through test flight which is an apple app that allows you to test applications and you can go ahead if you want to try this out and check it out links will be in the description i believe there's a limited amount of uh, people that can actually apply to test this app and it's a really cool app because as i mentioned allows you to get the actual blank spaces on the home screen of your iphone using widgets and therefore you can customize your device very cool and very unique ways so here is the application as i mentioned everything will be down below and it's very simple to use. So you launch the application, once you install it, the first thing you wanna do is of course, download Test Flight, install it onto your iPhone, and then come back to this website and click Start Testing. It'll redirect you to the Test Flight application, click Accept, and go through the installation process. I've already done this, of course, as you can see the app is on the home screen. And let's go ahead and create a widget from this application. So you can read the instructions right below here, it shows you how to do it, but I'm gonna show you in this video how to do it. You wanna go into edit mode, so hold the home screen here to go into edit mode, and I go on to the blank space of your iPhone. So the blank page, take a screenshot of the actual uh, home screen of your iPhone, and then click done, it's simple as that. So once you click done, Let's go ahead and head on back to the application. We can select this screenshot. So let's go ahead and select the screenshot that we just took. There we go, it's successfully added. And then we can go back to the home screen and actually select the actual widget for the application. So let's go into edit mode here and select the widget. So let's go look at the widgets here, find the actual application and you'll see that the uh, home screen will actually mimic the same thing as the widget. So you have several uh, options here. You have the small widget, you have a medium size widget here, and then you have the larger one. So we're gonna go with the small widget here just for the purpose of the video. And as you can see there, it blends right in to the actual background. You can't really tell there's anything there. Now, the great thing about this application is that other widget applications have the name of the widget right below it. So for example, if I choose another widget, let's say that's a blank widget from any other widget application, you still get the widget, uh, but you still get the name of the actual app below the widget, which means you can't really make it transparent and make it look like there's nothing there. And this is just an example. As you can see there, right below this widget, you have the actual name of the application that creates that widget. With this app that I'm sharing with you guys, it doesn't do that. So it gives you a really clean look and you can customize your device in so many ways. Now you can move this around to the bottom, let's say down here, bottom uh, left there, and I can click on the widget to edit right here. So edit widget. And then I can select which position of the home screen I want. So bottom left, this will actually mimic the bottom left and it should blend in just like so. So there you guys have it, a really neat application that I think you guys are gonna really enjoy, especially if you like customizing your iPhones. Again, if you wanna try this one out, go ahead and hurry up, links will be in the description. I believe there's a limited capacity as into how many uh, people can actually test this application. And if the app does make it into the App Store, of course, I'll link the App Store link in the description as well. So you can also hit me up on Twitter for any updates in regards to this application. I'll link the developer in the description as well. Thank you for watching today's episode and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.